Okay, so I have everything set up. I have a bucket over there with um, a rug scrubber brush, main and tail conditioner and shampoo. Over there I have tack box with my boots, so that way when I do feet, I won't have to worry about my toes. And so all that's left now is a horse that we have to brush out, scrub, Let's do it. Okay, so our first victim today is Zoe. So, she shouldn't be too hard to do since she's used to this compared to the other two um, due to her being in more shows and being used more often. So, I'm just going to give her a quick curry, body brush, do her mane and tail, and then pick out her feet. It shouldn't be too long, but... Knowing me, it'll drag out for an hour. I want you guys to notice that I am able to move all around her without her noticing because both me and her are really comfortable with each other. So, yeah. She's used to all me poking and prodding her. She hates it though. And I'm sorry for any noises in the background. Um, my family is doing other things while I'm doing this. So, better not ask them to stop because what they're doing is important. Time for the body brush.
So now I'm going to do her mane and tail. If you notice, when I got to her tail section, I really brushed out where the base of her tail is. And that's mainly because I want to improve circulation there. You see, if you haven't already noticed, Zoe's tail is very, very short, but her mane is super long. Her mother was the exact same way, except the opposite. She had a long tail, short mane. So we are actually working on different ways to actually improve her tail growth, including working on a um, growth lotion deal that we found on Pinterest that hopefully will work. We are just missing one ingredient, the main ingredient, and once we get that, we can mix that all together and we can use it on her tail and Tucker's and Tucker he his mane is incredibly short and so is his tail so yeah and I am just going to be using this brush the bristles aren't very fine eh, together and that's because this is normally used for burrs and stuff and this is the perfect brush to actually go through their mane and tail without actually breaking off a lot of their hail follicles, which prevents their tail from growing. So I normally don't brush their tails often, and you'll see at the once I get done giving her bath, I will actually um, braid her tail. So just to keep it up and keep it from breaking. So.
So notice how it's real gentle with her tail going really nice and slow, gently brushing out all the tangles. That's very important. And I did somewhat the same thing with her mane. Now I'm going to be using this hoof pick for her hooves. So, brushing out Zoe, filming a video. What? Filming a video. Brushing out a horse okay, well to give her back. Head over and take the skid loader back. Okay. Uh, Be careful while we're gone. Do you? Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. So that's the plan right now. You bathe in her. Or yep. You... Okay. Just be careful. Remember, start at the feet and work your way up. Got it. Is it okay. going? Yeah. Just oh. be very, very careful. Okay. I am very careful. All right. I love you. Love you. So. They're gonna be leaving. I'm gonna put on some shoes. I've worked with her so much. Everyone else, I kind of suck. She just dropped her chunk of crap.
just a beginner with horses or just really young I do not recommend doing this without adult supervision but seeing as how I am older and thus somehow wiser my parents have chosen to Grant me this responsibility. Not saying that I don't appreciate it. Probably not the, the best idea. So I'm going to move her by the blue bucket and then change my shoes and get to washing her. Now you see that her rope's really loose right now. I'm actually going to tighten it before um, I actually start bathing her because it gets a little carry and I don't want anything like that happening. So okay. one last bite of grass. Um, washing her, I'm just going to set that down just a little bit more. When I start washing her, I'm going to start with the feet up. But I'm actually going to take our hose and spray her down first. That way she's nice and wet when I put in the shampoo first. Let's do this.
I'm done with this. that's done time for shampoo Rub it in.
brush out her mane and tail. Make sure it's not knotted and I'm going to braid her tail. Now I will be using the same brush as I did before, mainly because it's easier with wet hair as well as birds. So. For me, I'm just going to brush it out mainly because I don't really want to have her mane that Her mane isn't as short as her tail, so it is not as important that it breaks off. I mean, it is important, but Now I'm going to brush out her tail. I'm actually going to pause for this bit because it might take me a while because I am going to try to French braid half of it since technically the flies are getting bad this year. So, so I'm going to show you Zoe's tail. Tell me how you guys think it looks. I think I did a pretty good job with it, even though I have no idea what I was going doing. So I'm going to take her, give her a little bit more grass that isn't muddy, and then I'll put her away. I will be able to actually do the other two tonight, since this video is actually like an hour long. I do not look forward to editing this. So, yeah. I I will do the rest of them tomorrow and you guys will see her. So have fun guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, and make sure you give your horse a bath. <laughs> Isn't that right, Zoe? And treats. Treats are important. <laughs>